when we look up at the night sky, we're glimpsing our future. Throughout history, the greatest powers have mastered the frontiers of their era, oceans, continents, the air. Today, that frontier is space. Space is no longer just a dream, it's a strategic arena shaping the destinies of nations. Our economic prosperity, security, and scientific progress are now tied to our ability to operate beyond Earth. Satellites are the invisible backbone of modern life, powering communication, finance, weather and navigation. But the stakes are much higher. The nation that establishes a sustained presence on the Moon or Mars will set the standards for exploration and commerce for generations. This is about building the infrastructure that will define the 21st century and beyond. The new space race isn't just between superpowers, it's a global contest, with private companies innovating at breakneck speed. We're not just visiting other worlds, we're learning how to live there, developing technologies for long-term habitation and resource use. The ability to access space resources like lunar water ice could revolutionize exploration and make the moon a stepping stone to the cosmos. The future of global leadership and human progress will be written by those who dare to reach for the stars. On October 13, 2025, Starship Flight 11 soared from Texas, a second consecutive fully successful test of the world's most powerful rocket. The 397-foot vehicle's flawless ascent and hot stage separation marked a pivotal moment, proving SpaceX's relentless cycle of building testing and learning. The Super Heavy booster executed a perfect boost back and splashdown, while Ship 38 opened its payload bay and simulated Starlink deployment. The real drama came as Ship 38 re-entered Earth's atmosphere at hypersonic speed, its heat shield holding strong, a leap for rapid reusability. The ship's belly flop maneuver and precision splashdown capped a mission celebrated by SpaceX and NASA alike. For NASA, which invested billions in Starship as its lunar lander, this was a monumental step toward returning Americans to the moon. The triumph of Flight 11 echoed from Texas to NASA's halls, heralding a new era of spaceflight. After 50 years, NASA's Artemis program is set to return humanity to the moon, not just to visit, but to stay. Artemis aims to land the first woman and person of color on the lunar surface, establishing a sustainable presence and a gateway for future Mars missions. The capstone is Artemis III, targeted for 2027, with SpaceX's Starship chosen for the critical lunar descent. Starship will ferry astronauts from lunar orbit to the moon's south pole and back making its success vital to the mission. Every milestone from Flight 11, launch, engine relight, re-entry, and landing validates the technology needed for a lunar landing. Artemis II, a crewed flight around the moon, is also on the horizon, paving the way for the landing. The partnership between NASA and SpaceX is accelerating our return to deep space. Spaceflight advances through iteration, and Starship Flight 11 marked the end of Block 2, now Block 3 is on the horizon. Block 3 is a major leap taller, with larger propellant tanks for lunar and interplanetary missions. The new Raptor 3 engines are lighter, more powerful, and more reliable. Crucial for missions with no margin for error. The most critical upgrade in orbit refueling. Starship tankers will transfer propellant in space, enabling true deep space travel. Block 3 will feature docking systems and fluid transfer hardware making orbital refueling a reality. SpaceX is expanding ground infrastructure in Texas and Florida to support rapid airline-like launch cadence. Full and rapid reusability is the vision. Driving down costs and making Moon and Mars missions routine. This is what sets Starship apart from every rocket before it. The next era of exploration is being built now. The new space race is focused on the Moon's South Pole, a region rich in water ice and strategic value. The U.S., through Artemis and China, with its Chang'e program, are racing to establish a human presence there. Water ice in permanently shadowed craters could be mined for rocket fuel, turning the moon into a refueling station for deeper space missions. The first nation to build a sustainable base will set the rules for lunar governance and resource use. China is developing its own super-heavy rocket and aims to land Taikonauts by 2030, intensifying the rivalry. The implications go beyond science, it's a contest for influence and technological supremacy. Starship 11's success signals America's commitment to winning this peaceful but high-stakes competition. The journey to the Moon and Mars is too vast for any one entity. Success depends on public-private partnership. NASA provides the vision and scientific expertise. SpaceX brings rapid innovation and revolutionary transportation. NASA sets mission architecture and safety standards, while SpaceX iterates quickly learning from uncrewed test flights. Astronauts are training for Artemis missions, while SpaceX expands its Starship fleet and launch facilities. 
This partnership is a blueprint for future exploration, including the ultimate goal, Mars. Mars missions will require fleets of starships, orbital refueling, and systems to sustain crews for years. The collaborative model perfected with Artemis is the foundation for humanity's next giant leap. Each starship launch is more than an engineering feat, it's the drumbeat of a new human era. Technologies developed for space improve life on Earth, while the quest for the stars inspires new generations. Expanding into space is an insurance policy for humanity, protecting us from existential risks. Starship is the first vehicle designed to make us a multi-planetary species, a bridge to a future beyond Earth. The journey is just beginning. Flight 11 is the start of a new chapter in our cosmic story. The moon will become a familiar neighbor, Mars, a new frontier, and humanity's destiny will no longer be confined to Earth. The path is being forged now, promising a future for all humankind.